Learning how to create a Jornea form sounds daunting, the kind of task given to an underdog movie hero with obstacles and challenges to overcome along the way. In reality, it's much easier than that and it's actually not even called Jornea anymore. Or Jornea. Depends who you ask. Hello and welcome to another tutorial designed to help make your life easier. That's what we do on this channel. My name's Colin and in this video we are going to explain how you can create your own Jornaya form. I'll explain that in a minute. And that's going to allow you to track the origin and validity of the leads you generate. Let's dive in. As usual, there are timestamps in this video if you want to move ahead. But if not, let's start here. What on earth? are we even talking about? Well, if you're generating leads for a lead buyer, they might ask you to verify where the leads have come from or to certify that specific legal disclosures have been met. And one popular way of achieving this is, you guessed it, Jornea Lead ID, which is now known as Verisk Lead ID. And I'll largely refer to it as Lead ID from here on out to avoid confusion. Using Lead ID proves that every lead you capture has undergone a comprehensive verification process, ensuring compliance with industry regulations like TCPA or the Telephone Consumer Protection Act. It works behind the scenes, documenting the consumer's journey seamlessly, helping you demonstrate proof of compliance, minimize potential disputes, and build trust with your buyer. Once Lead ID is implemented on your form, every lead generated will be assigned a unique identifier stored alongside your existing form data. And now I'll show you how you can do exactly that, how to implement it into your next multi-step form. All right, so you're going to need two logins here, one for your lead ID and one for and a second one for Growform. If you're new to the latter, Growform is a multi-step form builder designed to help you get more leads from the same traffic. It's a perfect tool for demonstrating how to verify a lead's origin. Best of all, it offers a free 14-day trial, no credit card required, so you can follow along with every step of this tutorial. There's a link in the video description to take you right there. And once you've signed up with an email address, you're ready to go. Okay, you're into Growform. Well done. From the home page, you're going to want to click on create new form to start building this Jornea lead ID form. It is really up to you what you do from here. You can either choose a template or start from scratch. But as you can see, Growform offers a wide variety of pre-built lead generation form templates to get you going. For today's purposes though, we're going to go blank, give it a name and we'll take it from there. We've got a ton of videos on our channel on making the most of Growform's intuitive design features, but as an overview, we can add and edit fields, reorder questions, add conditional logic, upload images and branding, change the color, font settings. There's loads of customizing you can do, so have at it. Now it's time to integrate our Jornea lead ID details, and you can do that by logging into your Jornea account and grabbing two separate things the account key and the campaign key. Next, you'll want to head back to Growform and at the very top, navigate to edit form settings, followed by tracking and tagging. Once there, scroll down until you find the Jornea option, which is where you can paste in both of your keys, the account and the campaign. And of course, once you've done that, please remember to save your form. Now earlier, I briefly mentioned this funny initialism, TCPA, which no, it turns out, is not the Town and Country Planning Association. In some settings, your lead buyer may ask for a Telephone Consumer Protection Act, or TCPA, disclosure. And thankfully for us, Growform has a field designed just for this very task. If you go back down to your form builder, scroll on the left hand side through those fields, and if you've successfully added your lead ID details, you will see this field that says Jornea TCPA Disclosure. Click on it and edit the relevant prompt for all your respondents. Okay, so now you've added Jornea Lead ID to your form, there is one last thing to do. Check that it works. To do that, you'll want to hit View Form and complete your form as any regular user would. Like so. Then in Grow Form, head to View Leads and you should see the Jornea Lead ID saved alongside the standard form information. Bosh. 
With the ID now saved, you can now use Growform's Zapier integration to send the lead data to more than 300 destinations, such as a CRM or lead distribution tool. If Zapier is a new one for you, it's basically a digital glue that connects Growform with thousands of third-party systems, and they also have a generous free plan, which is always a bonus for an entrepreneur. There's a link to the guide on using Zapier in the description of this video. And yes, before you ask, the Jornea lead ID and trusted form scripts should work with each other without interference. To achieve this in Growform, again, it's under tracking and tagging and just enter both sets of details. If you're looking for your trusted form tutorial, it should be up here, if I've edited this properly. Once you understand how to build a Jornea lead ID form or integrate it into your existing form, the sky's the limit. With this covered, you can move on to creating advanced lead forms with Growform, the form builder designed to generate more leads. Sadly though, that is it for this video, but I trust you are now ready to take your own form game to the next level. If you found this video as useful as it was designed to be, click that like button, it's free to do so, and subscribe if you're feeling even more generous and are yet to click it. If you've got feedback for me, let me know. I always appreciate hearing from viewers wherever you are in the world. I'm in Scotland, if you couldn't tell. Have fun out there, and I will see you again very soon.